Hey guys, so I wanted to do a quick uh, review slash first impression of the L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder Foundation. Um, I got the shade 326 True Beige. The bottle kind of sucks on representing what kind of shade you get because it's so white up here that you can't really see much of the color. Um, there's not much color to actually look at. So what I did is I walked over to the L'Oreal section and looked at the um, True Match shades because even though they are like N5, W5, W6, they also had names to them. So this true beige one was the N5 one and then the next available shade darker was 328 which was the W6 shade. So I decided to go with this one because I figured it'd be more uh, year-round color. So hopefully this one works out. And quick note, on the back it says, transforms from liquid to powder for the perfect bare skin finish. It says, shake well. For best re makeup results, pour just a few drops into your fingers and apply directly onto skin. Not recommended for use with a sponge or a brush. So because it says not to use a sponge or a brush, obviously I'm not going to use it. And when I shake it up, it sounds like pure liquid, like water. So, we'll see. So this is what my face looks like without um, foundation on. Um, I did put my oil. I did just put my oil control lotion on, which when I first initially put it on, I am a little bit shiny from that, but that's normal. I do have spots. I did just get my eyebrows waxed today, so that whole area up here is all still a little bit red. And, like, this is nothing. Like, this isn't pimples. It's just marks. And then the waxing made them redder. So, I think what I'm just going to do is it's kind of like a dropper where you can put your hand on it and go like this. And it'd be on your finger. So, I'm going to do it that way. And I'm going to use my finger, since it said not to use a sponge or a brush with it. I will have to say the color is pretty perfect. For now at least. My skin always piddles right here. It's uh, very liquidy, as you can see, how it's like dropping all over the place, even though I have my finger over it, I don't know how it's managing to do that. It's getting all over the bottle. They really, really, really should have just done a pump, but I guess with it being so liquidy, maybe they couldn't. See, I mean, it is dripping everywhere. I don't know how it. I don't know how it's doing that if my finger's over it. My finger is over the hole. How is it dripping all over the place? I just don't get it. Or unless it's dripping off of my finger. I didn't think about. I didn't think about that. I will say it feels very soft. Very soft feeling. Look, it's nice to touch my face. Feels good. So that is the first coat. I will have to say I did a um, pretty good job on color matching myself in the store. I would say it's a light coverage for sure. It's a good summer coverage. I know for me, like, I don't like the fool's coverage every single day over the summer. I want something that's light. It gives me kind of a little bit of coverage, but at the same time, it also doesn't really look like I'm wearing makeup. So... At least that's how I've been feeling lately. Didn't always used to be that way. So that is a first coat. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna see if I can build this and get a little bit more coverage on it. But right now, I'd say it looks like I'm not wearing any makeup, which I like. It's giving me coverage without looking like I'm wearing anything. There's no neck 
differential going on here, which means that, yes, thumbs up on color matching myself. I wonder why they say don't use a brush and sponge. I wonder what would happen. It probably just mushes it around too much. So this could potentially be very, very messy, so be careful. Um, I wouldn't say that doing another coat really did anything. Where's my mirror? Hold on a second. I will say it's super, super silky. It's soft feeling, it's natural looking. Like I said, doesn't really look like I'm wearing makeup right now when I am, which is a good everyday foundation, I guess. Um, so far, I like the finish. It's got a matte finish, I'd say. And yes, so we'll see how the longevity of this works. I am going to set it with powder, but because it's that light coverage and I kind of don't want to like cover it up, I normal. Mm, I normally set my face with either the Max Max, the Max Studio Fix powder, which is a, which is a coveraging, which is a full coverage powder foundation. So if I wanted to then set this with that to make it more of a full coverage, I could. And for reference, I'm in the shade NC35 right now, so I am a little bit darker. But um, or I will set it with a blotting powder, which I think this is what I'm going to use today because I don't want to take away from what this is supposed to be doing, which I think is supposed to be like a light, maybe a medium coverage foundation. So like with all foundations, I have to set it, even if it says it's gonna be matte all day wear, I don't care. Needs to be done, cause I will get oily. I feel like I have wax right there on my face. I think I do. I don't really feel like doing concealer or anything like that today, so I won't. <laughs> so I don't know if I said this or not, but this retails, I got this at Rite Aid for $12.95, so it's $13. So it is a little bit more expensive on the drugstore end of makeup, but if I like it, then it doesn't matter. I'm going to finish up my makeup and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. So all I did really was I applied a little bronzer, which I used Bahama Mama by The Bomb. And then I used something that's like a current favorite of mine is the Ripe for Love blush by MAC that was in the limited edition temperature rising, rising temperature or whatever that one was called. really like that. And then on my lips, I did... Burberry lipstick in number 11 Antique Rose. Which looks like that. And then put Hue by MAC on top of that. Just to help make it a little bit lighter and summerier. So far so good. I like it. We'll see how it lasts. We'll see if I get oily. Because if you don't know me, I'm very oily. Um, and I will come back and check in. It is 3.30 right now. I do plan on going for a run later, so I will definitely check in before I go for a run, but it's not going to be for a while. So I'll see you soon. Hey guys, so it is 8.30, so it's been five hours since I did the video. And as you can see, my face definitely has a shine to it, but if you've seen videos of mine, you know that no matter what my face does eventually gets shiny. After five hours, my face is going to have somewhat of a shine to it. Um, so the amount of shine is kind of the determinant. I would say like I can see in the viewfinder that it's shiny. I can look in the mirror and see that it's shiny, but it's also not that bad. Um, at this point in time, I would have to blot my face regardless of what foundation I was wearing. So. Um, I just don't look like a sloppy mess like some of the other videos I've done and two hours looked like a sloppy mess two hours I looked good still so I am so far very happy with this foundation and But you know that can change just because of one day doesn't mean anything but so far I'm pretty impressed with this foundation and um, yeah Hope you enjoyed that guys and I'll talk to you later. Bye